Hello? Boo! That was uh, annoying. I hope it doesn't happen again. Uh, if it does, I'll probably add some gin to this Coke. That was not a copyright thing or anything like that. That's just my computer is, uh, I don't know, sometimes gets fucky with uh, Ethernet because my Wi-Fi was still working. Yeah, it was very strange. But uh, restarted. Hopefully everything's fine. Uh, back in time with lunch. Back from the gun. Uh, you can still pay me five hundred dollars though for my mental trauma though. That would be that's fine. Um, because it was very you know I didn't know if the internet was coming back. It might have been down for a while. It might still go down again. So, you know, mental trauma and all that. Um, but let's get back on with it. The stream continues. Hopefully, King Bluto won't take us down again. Uh, because clearly that's what happened. Neil. A Mohan from YouTube and and King Bluto over here. Wait, that's the wrong guy. Hang on. This motherfucker. This fucking asshole over here. Oh, I hate that guy. Uh, is it this one? No. Oh. Oh God. It's oh, it's chat. Ew. There you go. King Bluto took down my channel. I can't believe it. He did it personally. No, he probably didn't. He probably didn't. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, I don't think Neil Mohan did either. Uh, you know, I don't know. This guy doesn't seem that interesting. I don't know when the video cut, when the stream cut off, when the internet died. Um, but, you know, like I was saying before, if you were here for the previous version of this stream, uh, in the other timeline, uh, we're not certain if everybody that we're looking at tonight is going to be a hilarious, you know, source of, of levity. Uh, they might be a channel that we just passingly look at. This one doesn't seem to be that exciting. Uh, nothing, nothing too much going on here. Uh, five bucks from Fat Mark. Can we please listen to Merry Go Round by Wild Man, Wild Man Fisher? I don't know what that is. Uh, I mean, you know, maybe somebody will play it. I don't know. I should play a song by Afro Man. That's what I should do. That whole fucking situation is, uh, is, is crazy. You know, this, the, the stream probably went down because I got high, actually. Uh, oh, pick up the thing here. Let's see here. So, yeah, this guy doesn't seem to be that, that exciting. He's got some fun, you know, thumbnails or whatever, but he's just kind of an old guy. Uh, if we take a look at the, uh, the weirdos tab that I have here, though, let me see what, what our next, um, uh, Oh, right. Well, here's one you people might know. Uh, you might be familiar with this guy. This is an individual who, uh, to some of you, might need no introduction. He's actually got a live stream scheduled upcoming for uh, yesterday uh, over here. And uh, I don't know, maybe some of you are familiar. This is probably one of his many, many channels. This is somebody named Daniel Larson. And... Uh, you know, I've been aware of this guy. He's like, I guess, he, uh, supposedly some kind of pedophile or something. He's on the run from the cops, I think, or something. There's like a, there's a saga. I'm not up to date, but I did look up the trolls and he came up. So I guess we're looking at some Daniel Larson. The video in question was, the trolls need to stop impersonating to be other celebrities. Um, uh, I guess. And so he's here and... You know, there he is with this lady, whoever that is. It's probably not real. Then maybe it's real. I don't know. But that's the whole video. There's no other content to this video. It's just that picture. So that's cool. Uh, but the shorts over here, he looks pretty active in this. He made $81 today in donations. Thanks. Good for him. Okay, this is crazy. So I made a total of $81 today, and my bank account is still saying balance unknown. <laughs> Well, it doesn't really come in and on the same day, but you know, maybe it'll be there soon enough and you can, you know, get, you can maybe buy one of those teeth that you've got missing there. You can, you can start filling out the full deck. Does that mean that my card is blocked or what's going on? Uh, okay, this is crazy. Uh, this is crazy, guys. I have to keep checking to make sure the fucking chat is still going. Homeboy on his way to the Vander Wall. Uh, I don't know what that is. Tina Vanderwall told me 
in a phone call that my fans oh so this is like part of the saga okay i've been told that the vander walls don't live in new york anymore okay i got uh information from tina and dave and i'm being told that tina and dave and grace are not in new york anymore you know it's funny because he with the teeth with the the tooth situation that he's got going on I don't think the uh, the advanced by frame thing is not working on this one, but with the with the, to get a new does it, you see the way he's got like oh, let's get a good okay. shot of it here. You see the way I he's got, got like uh, information from, from Tina. See, he's got these like two front teeth, right? But he's got like no other teeth in his mouth. He would be great at eating pussy, but probably really bad at sucking dick. Uh, that's that's my that's my two cents anyway. Don't mess with me. I don't play like that. My boy doesn't play games. Just play like normal kids. Come on, move it. Where's Becky? Let's go, sweetheart. Let me show you how to dunk him. It looks like he's cosplaying Nico Bellic. Hey, Greg. Well, we were kids. Your dad used to drop this. This looks like the guy. This looks like the guy that they would get to play Nico Bellic in like a fan film. And then you'd look at it and you'd be like, what the fuck? This is the best they could do? They couldn't get anybody who... Really? That's that's Nico in this thing? Oh, that's that's embarrassing. Just play like normal kids. Come on, like Jim Carrey in the Sonic movies. Oh, Let's motherfucker. Go, I don't know what the fuck. That's probably some kind of movie or something. I don't know. TV show. But he's just watching it. Daniel Larson treat apostrophe ass himself to a dinner last night in celebration of getting his distribution back. Oh no, did the internet go? I now have access. No, it didn't. This is just a silent and still TikTok. Cool. I now have access to my music distribution. Thank you, Bob, for helping me. Uh, what about Bob? So this guy, I don't know exactly what makes this guy so interesting. I know there's a whole saga. I know there's plenty of saga. Pl plenty of sagas going on. Daniel Larson could be in danger. That could be exciting. Uh, but I don't really know too much about the guy. I might need to look, you know, look a little deeper, do a full stream talking about him or something. But uh, I know there's a lot to talk about. I don't know if that's going to present itself in the few clips that we watch here. But is he okay? He could be in danger. Okay. I got to be on block now. Um, a bunch of people just start, like, driving around me in circles, and I'm getting messages, text messages, saying they are here. When I ask who, I'm not getting any response. Oh, no. But somebody leaked my number as well. Dude, the fucking Jinhuan Mafia knows that you're using the face of their former leader. You're, you're fucked, dude. They're coming for you. And your JRPG party. This guy just had the real life version of the fucking Sims phone call where they go, They are coming! Lock your doors! And you know, he's just... I mean, I suppose that would, that would be pretty terrifying. Yeah, I guess. I mean, he said people were driving in circles around him. I guess it remains to be seen if he's, you know, that could just be gang stalking. Oh, there were cars near me! Uh, or it could be... Y you know, I'm I'm in, I'm imagining people in tiny little cars, like like clowns in tiny cars driving circles around them, and one of them is a monkey. That's that's what I'm seeing. Like, your day, your time is your time is here. Your days are numbered. The monkey's coming for you. He might be, I saw he's at a McDonald's there. He might be at the same McDonald's where Review Bra was getting gang stalked. This could be the rock and roll McDonald's. Uh, there's one car there staring at me. Somebody's just sitting in the car. There's one over there. Uh, that person just standing up yeah i mean you do have that moment you know where it's like yeah yeah they're looking at me oh that guy's looking at me what's going on why are you guys all looking at me for stop looking like 
You know, you're kind of bringing it on yourself at this point. Self-fulfilling prophecy and shit. Hello. Not the uh, are you waiting for the- Not the uh, Yeah. Uh, it's not here yet. Oh. This is a you bus do? stop? Yeah, I am. Uh, no, thank you. Is this guy in on it, though? I think he's in on it. I don't know, so he's in danger, but somebody said to look up Daniel Larson Casino Bathroom. Sorry about the typing, by the way. I feel like it might be louder than uh, than usual. Casino bathroom. Oh, boy. Daniel Larson being removed. All right, well, there's a six. There's like an almost seven-minute one, and then there's like one that's twice as long. This one's got more views, so I guess we'll go with the one that's 14 minutes long. This is Daniel Larson kicked out of casino. Vegas casino incident, Daniel Larson incidents. <laughs> and I guess this guy is the Daniel Larson curator, so we might watch more of him. No, you not. Yo, get the fuck up off the toilet. No, you fucking, fuck. no, you fucking won't, bitch. You got the bathroom. No, you fucking won't. You aren't gonna do shit. No, you fucking won't. You aren't gonna do shit. They're fucking pulling him out of the stall, oh no. Whoa, 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 Don't touch me like that! Yeah, get the fuck out! Don't fucking touch me like that! I didn't do anything! I didn't fucking do anything! <laughs> I didn't fucking do anything! Don't fucking grab me like that, bitch! Oh my god, he's getting to like supersonic levels. <laughs> Don't fucking grab me! I have it all fucking grabbed. Oh, man, don't you have any dignity, though? Like, you're already getting escorted out by security. Are you... I mean, I guess at that point, you might as well just let loose. Like, they're gonna be looking at you. You might as well just be, like, you know, like, Yosemite Sam fucking kicking up dust and going, Gosh darn it! Put it, put it, shut up, put it, shut up! You know, again, Sims comparison. You could just be a Sim getting mad at TV or something. Um, but, but, uh, but yeah, like, you know, you'd think you would try to, like, at least preserve some dignity and just, like, walk out, you know. But, but, but he's, he's fucking, he's causing, he is causing the biggest scene. He does, he sounds like I do when I yell, you're right. <laughs> don't, don't fucking touch me, don't fucking touch me. Don't fucking touch me, bro, what are you doing? You're not Man, these guys fucking don't don't they don't fuck around. So I don't know what started this incident. He was like holed up in a bathroom at a fucking casino. What was he doing in there? Was he already causing an incident beforehand? Maybe we'll get into that. I don't think so. I think this is just the the aftermath. For anyone asking what's up, Daniel will hold up in bathrooms of various businesses and try to sleep, charge his phone, and generally just stay there. Which most businesses don't much like, but he will simply, but will simply ask you to leave. But when you ask Daniel to leave, he spurks out, No you fucking won't, bitch! In the beginning. Daniel is so entitled he can't fathom why he doesn't get his own way. Screen. Okay, so this is just he's home. He's sleeping in a business and he's homeless and he's causing a scene because of that. I see. This so this this isn't like he was conducting a fucking casino scam or something. They are being a little hard on him for you know this sort of thing, but maybe this is like a re repeat offense. And he's causing a lot of trouble, so I can see why. <laughs> Next time you're in 
the next time you tried to hit me, I didn't do anything. You hit me. You hit me. So, I mean, I don't know what the fucking rest of this video is. Is he just still causing tr- Oh, man. His hair is a bird. Your argument is invalid. <laughs> Almost synced up perfectly. I mean, like, you're having a fucking tantr temper tantrum, dude. I understand you're homeless. It sucks. You want to sleep somewhere. Being homeless ain't a crime, and, you know, that's fair. But sleeping in someone's business is a crime. And, you know, if they throw you out, you really don't have any right to be like this? I'm, I'm sorry. You know, it's like... It's like, I understand you want to sleep in the casino. Fine, that's fair. But when they find you, you can't be like, what the fuck, bro? You have to just be like, oh, shit, I got caught. All right, all right, all right, I'm going, I'm going. You know, you got, you gotta, you gotta know your place. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is his own personal 9-11, yeah. <laughs> Is he beating his camera? What is he doing? What the fuck? I'm being tousled. God, his hair is a bird. His whole face is a bird. Somebody compared him to Marv from uh, from Home Alone. I guess I could see it. He does look like he just had the fucking spicy keychain door handle, a uh, doorknob. Uh, incident. So this is the Daniel Larson curator channel. What else do we have here? What's popular? Daniel Larson kicked out housing. October 16th incident. It's nothing to be like discussed. I've tried to call Reva, my case manager, and she will not cooperate. What you want her to cooperate and do, please? So. Um, broke the window in his room and complained it was cold. Kicked holes in the wall of his room and complained about the drywall repair people. Insanely annoying and violent with constant drama. I always hear about halfway houses being terrible, but this shows an insane level of patience. So, I mean, I guess this guy fucked up his place super hard and they gave him a bunch of chances and now they're... Well, she's supposed to be... Upset? I can't get security. Mm -hmm. And I can't get all my stuff set up without Reva and my shield company Why working all together. Uh, my stuff for my safety, popularity <sighs> stuff. My safety, popularity? Stuff that I talked about at the meetings. What? Let's just talk about in the meetings, but then you give out the address online. So what I, I never I never gave my address out online. You oh, never gave your bad. address? You never oh, shared your location on your video? Mm. No. Nope. No. So never. Just randomly order stuff and send it huh. to huh. the house. It's, it's, oh man, that's happening too. What a shame. I mean, he seems to be the type of person to bring it on himself. I can imagine a situation in which this happens to someone and then that, like, you know, it's not their fault, but they're getting, like, fucked with. And, you know, that'll probably, that'd probably piss off their fucking neighbors or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this, in this case, I'm assuming he probably did pull a Chris Chan and just go like, Yeah, come fucking see me at my house, bitch. I live at fucking 123 Smith Street or whatever. Listen to me. It's because I'm so popular <laughs> that I get spotted in this own fucking neighborhood. Oh. You got spotted I get, in I get, I, Yeah, people... It's not my fault nowadays everybody could have a cell phone. Mm -hmm. Okay? So all it takes is for me to go outside the front door, around the block to the school down here, let's say, mm -hmm. and my location is fully breached because people are on oh, their oh, phones oh. taking photos of me. Because I'm this guy over here, Steven Seagal, who's like blurry and just out of frame. He's like, he's just waiting for, he's the muscle. 
here he's here for whenever it's like all right we gotta fucking pull a, a vegas security and drag this guy out of here so he's just like standing around like waiting for the fucking sub story dialogue to be over so he can get to the fight that popular Oh, you're not doing anything on your settings. You're not sharing your location. I I have I already have all of my um all of my notifications turned off. I have my phone um location tracking. I have that off. If the police wanted to, yeah, this to... looks like quite a nice place. This is a fucking halfway house or whatever. The damn, this is doing pretty good. You fucking. Like you, you should be, you should be uh, more respectful to a place like this, aren't you? Homeless or whatever, Daniel? Haven't you been homeless? Don't you think that when you get a home, you would learn to respect it a little bit more, and not like break a bunch of windows and kick holes in the walls and shit? I mean, I mean, I've been in situations. I've had holes in my walls in the past, but it's like that was when I lived in fucking horrible dumps. I live somewhere nice now. I'm fucking treating this place. I'm vacuuming every day. Like, come on, man. You gotta have a little respect for your environs. Track me down for any no, reason you they didn't. can't. Because I have my location tracking turned off. Oh. I have every so thing Guys, that I... he turned his location tracking off, and he's in incognito mode. I mean, that's basically like you're not even on the planet anymore. That's off-grid can possibly do i have like set already what happened when you broke the window upstairs what that happened? that happened i have already discussed this that happened yeah. the first week i don't know this is like a 35 minute video i'm sure there's an interesting stuff here but this is just the saga of him getting kicked out of his house again i'll probably try to do like a full stream type thing for daniel larson because he's an interesting fellow but there's a lot more that we're not seeing here Although I do, actually, I do want to see this. I'm, I'm too intrigued by the mac and cheese incident. I think I need to click on this. It's only 2 minutes and 37 seconds. What's going on here? I'm going to now ask my care provider if I could get macaroni and cheese. If that's all we fucking have in. His fucking face looks like a deep fake. What is going on with his face? Are his eyes, like, enlarged to look... Because his eyes look like... When you super enlarge someone's eyes and make them all red and swollen for like a thumbnail and it's like, oh, they've been crying, like that kind of thing. Like a meme image. Is, is that just his face? Oh, jeez. This house. This tastes like cow piss. Literal Looks like it. fucking cow piss. Oh, yeah, I tried the Cheetos Mac and Cheeto shit earlier today. It was, um... Well, I don't know what I was expecting. It it kind of did ju just taste like Cheetos as mac and cheese, but it was not a good combination. You would think that, I mean, it's just cheese. So that's cheese-flavored Cheeto, right? It would go well with mac and cheese. No, it looked like fucking f fluorescent, for one thing. It, was, it looked like plastic. I'm not even sure it was supposed to go in the fucking compost bin. Uh, so don't try that. I want to know who the fuck... Put jalapenos in this. I think you did warn me not to eat that, but it was four for six dollars at Walmart, so I got some. I'm like, you know, it's cheaper to get that than like, you know, actually it wasn't cheaper to get that than mac than regular macaroni and cheese. But my thought process was, well, how much worse can it be? You know, like it was. It's better to get that than. I don't know. I don't know why the fuck I bought that, but I sure did, and now I just have two boxes there, and I don't know what the hell I'm gonna add it to, or, like, do with it. They're gonna- I mean... Now, you know, I know what I'm gonna do with them. I'm gonna do something horrible on a you on a cooking stream with those- those boxes. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna make some fucking fluorescent Cheeto mac and cheese cat food dish or some shit. Fucking mix it with the meat- the- what was it? The ham chug? The ham and beer. Mix that with some mac and Cheetos. It'll be great. Holy fuck, my mouth is on fire. <sighs> Holy one fuck. Jalapeno? I know why this tastes different. It's got something in it that's like sour as well. What? And if you look, it's got like little things in it. I don't know what it is. What the fuck? Did they try to make the mac and cheese? special is this like a weird brand or did they add spices to it what what is going on with this mac and cheese 
I've never seen that. Well, that makes a lot of sense. We don't have the fucking milk. Oh. So the asshole care provider didn't do the fucking milk. Why didn't you make food? Like, can't you cook? Can't you do anything other than wine? Like, oh, the asshole care provider. You know, why didn't you make it? It's mac and cheese. It's not that hard. It's very nice of them to try and make something like that for you. Um, the only thing they could have done was water, but that's not the taste, but whatever. Like, I'm going to be straight up serious. Why does it, the mac and cheese taste a lot like, like ranch, but with like a tangy taste? Oh, maybe that's like, what that they doesn't did. make any sense. Like honey mustard? The mac and cheese. I was more... sitting here wondering what the mac and cheese incident could be, and I'm very happy that it is what this, like, it's this. It's him trying to figure out why his mac and cheese tastes funky, because that cunt of a, of a home care worker didn't prepare it correctly for him while he sat in the other room and jerked off to Sailor Moon. And now he has to go through his fridge and figure out which condiment, which burger... Big Mac burger sauce is is in his fucking mac and cheese. Or like, like honey mustard. Okay. Which is really weird. And if you look, bingo. It's got the... It's got the... Good, good, I want to see how good, much very good. honey mustard they actually use. I get what he's saying, though. Most of it. You can see actually a little bit of a line. Yeah, they did use honey used. mustard? And okay, well, hear. all right. So, all right. So why did the fucking care... You know, actually, I know why. Because the care provider is probably, like, abused by this dude on a daily basis. This person is, like, coming here to help him out. And he's just like, yeah, make me some fucking food, you bitch. And then, like, you know, at a certain point, you're just like, oh, you don't have any fucking milk? Well, looks like you're getting honey, mustard, mac and cheese tonight. Like, yeah, I guess that would, I would do the same thing. Shout outs to whoever this nurse is. Like, or fuck yeah. You shake it. <sighs> what did you have? Was it party cheese? Did, was, it par was, it, was, it, was it all party cheese? Fuck. Oh. Because it just tastes so fucking bad, and it's it's been sitting here for like about an hour now, and I never thought that I would be this angry to where I would be putting this fucking shit all over the fucking media. The fucking media, they're gonna hear about this. My MTV television channel is gonna hear all about this. But guess what? It's starting to affect my family and my girlfriend, and I'm not gonna put up with this. So is the girlfriend your, uh, like, hypothetical teenage girlfriend or whatever? Because I know this guy's apparently got, like, a te uh, somebody is, like, pretending to be a teenager, and, and also they made him think he's the president. That's what someone in chat said. Uh, they, they've, they've trolled him into thinking he's the president, I guess. So that's always fun. Uh, I, I, I wasn't getting Gale vibes from this guy, but that sounds very Gale-esque, just, like, trolling people into like gaslighting them into thinking that they're the fucking leader of the free world or whatever that's yeah i mean <laughs> there fucking asshole put yeah. that all the way into the tr you shall... yeah there fuck you. fucking asshole put that all the way into the trash and now you fucker. just have no food you fucker i think they added canola oil too oh my god which is why it tastes so fucking bad. This fucking dude is just like going through his kitchen like, mm, a whipped cream? They might have added whipped cream! I don't know about this! You know, like, uh, make your own fucking mac and cheese next time though. Uh, you, you got a problem with how they make it for you? You know, if you want something done right, then do it yourself or whatever. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, that's Daniel Larson. That's, uh, that's enough of him for now. Let's, uh, let's move along. Um, what's the next thing from the list? Uh, alright, well we have this one. This is the Grim Reaper radio show. Uh, freedom of speech is always worth fighting for. No discrimination toward whatever. Freedom within TOS. Um, 
Grim Reaper radio show. Live TV and chat are blah, blah, blah. And yeah, you know, it's some kind of... We won't follow the pack. We are independent from trolls. Bet the trolls hate this room. No doxing, please. <laughs> so the trolls are coming uh, after him, but he's just trying to have free speech, man. And like, you know, hell yeah. Uh-oh, audits? Oh no, the word audit is coming up. That's concerning. Uh, we have some streams who can claim to be a journalist. Well, let's see what's popular here. Oh no, yeah, it's audits. Uh, BBA versus Traffic Warden. Let's see who wins. What's going on here? This is from Bear Britain Audits. This is... So we got some, if you're not familiar, this is 1A auditing or in the UK, I don't know what they call it, freedom auditing, whatever, where you fucking test the limits of how much you can get away with by being an annoying cunt in public until they make you stop and just see, see basically testing the limits of like where the line is, which to, you know, when I describe it that way almost sounds... Almost sounds like a like an interesting thing to do, but um, I don't know. Most of the time, it's it's kind of just these people need attention, you know, that kind of thing. But you know, maybe this will be different. So we got this traffic cop here. Looks like he's just doing his job. Right. Why are you filming currently, though? Oh, he's making his approach. So he's, I guess he sees somebody getting like a parking violation or something, and he's trying to step in and be the hero. We've seen this before. One of the last times that I looked at like 1A auditor people. Uh, it was some guy getting, like, arrested for drunk drunk driving, and, and the dude was, like, off to the side of the road, like, Hey, man, you gotta know your rights, bro! And, like, the cops were just, Please let us do our, our, what we're doing, please. You're not involved in this. And I, I guess that might be what what's happening here. Bro, you're not gonna ticket his car, are you? Okay. He's only been there two seconds. But that, that's my car, man. It's playing display here. It's playing display. I can't believe it! You're trying to ticket him? Mate, he says two hours. That's mental! Come on, mate. He says two hours. Come on, mate! Hey, yeah, machine. Can I return in two hours? Look at this, look. Fine, in it. What's this say, boss? Look, boss, it says two hours, yeah? Yeah, no you've only been here hours. like five minutes. I've just come two minutes ago. Now, listen, you ask a question. You want, to, you want the question to be answered. It says two hours, no return within two hours, being yeah. display. And I've just come no. two minutes ago. Okay, hang on. That means your first two hours is no free parking, display and display. It's not free, it's not free parking. The longest you can It says park two hours, no okay. return. If you don't return within two hours, then so you... this is like just a fucking... <laughs> this is like the Seinfeld episode where they argue over the parking space or whatever. Um, and the dude is trying to get involved here. Like, I'm your hey, knight in shining you, armor. I'll take you to court, I'm telling you now. What's your name? I'll take you to court, buddy, I'm telling you now. Uh, you need five minutes, you're trying to put Can you identify hey, yourself? Move from the car, man. Move from Can you car. identify yourself, sir? He's not giving his name and badge number. That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. The queen's gonna hear about this. She'd be rolling in her grave. Mate, I've got the, uh, just so you know, boss, I've got a YouTube channel. You don't mind if it goes on there, yeah? No, 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 That's cool, boss. Why, why are you That's walking cool, in front of my car, boss? Move from my car. I like the fucking other guy who's actually getting the parking ticket, who's who's probably, like... Do you, do you think he wants this guy here doing this right now? I, I don't know. Most likely not. So you're not going to tell him... You're not going to tell him his rights, read him his rights? Nothing like that, sir? It, what, the guy wants to know a bit more information. You've been hovering. Yeah. Random cut, sure. Just pull the ticket out. 
Now we're so just you... following this man on his walk home back back, back from the job. Give him a ticket, like, sir. Look, he's ripped the ticket. Or have you ripped it? Pocket. So it's not going through. No, he's took the ticket out, yeah? He's given me a ticket, he's put it in his pocket. I guess the guy is, like, on... The, they're both together now. They're, I, they've, they're, they're on the same side, which makes sense, but... I, now I'm wondering if the guy who is being ticketed might know this guy with the camera. Was this all, like, set up? Was this all staged? Because the guy with the camera had the camera going, it looked like, before any ticketing shit was even happening. He must have been real quick to pull out that camera right on time. Either that or they were, like, coordinated in some way. You think you're clever, don't ya? Mate, I got you fully on camera. You're on camera. You know, if I get a ticket, you're gonna lose your job. Yeah, like, you mate, you can take my number, so that if yeah, anything yeah. comes through, well, I'll send this to yeah, you yeah, anyway. Send me that. So I guess they're not together then? Maybe not. This is just two, this is a random GTA Strangers and Freaks mission. You're just g driving along and then this happens and you're just like, just like, no, I'll, he I'll help you deal with the ticket. Yeah, fuck that guy. Tyron. 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 Huh. I guess this is how you get freedom auditor people is like you misinterpret a fucking parking law and now you and and you you run into some weirdo and now you're just yelling tyrant in the streets. I would be willing to bet that this parking ticket guy is now like one of these types of people. Probably. He's been co fully converted. Jeez, man. I think I can do what they want, don't I? But like I said, mate, obviously... The lad in the left corner is fucking, uh... Is fucking Neil, Neil Mohan. It's it's the new YouTube CEO. We all bow in the presence of greatness. Because uh, right now he has forsaken us. I don't know if he has ticketed it, but if he does... Yes? Do you want to, do you want to take my number? So yeah, that if he does, obviously right? I can send you this video footage. Alright, well this is some auditing. Uh, if we go back to popular here on this channel, we got Andrew J. That's not Andrew Tate, come on. Uh, you gotta make your video for the right top, for the top G, not the top J. Uh, who and what we do and some of the channels we support. This is like, I guess, just some... Some older boomer type of person. I say that. He doesn't sound that much older than me, but I just... Dis oh, no. Yeah, okay. The guy looks like he uh, belongs in else. Sons of Anarchy. No, that's someone else. This is already claiming. So before I start a show, I get the copyright owner of the song I'm going to make that I'm going to use. Okay. And I listen to over here. And Great. Good for you. All right. Well, this is not as interesting as it looks like it might be. Sadly, the one video there was actually from a different channel. Again, you look up the trolls on YouTube, and you might get some good results. Yeah, you might not. That one seems a little less than good. We have this one here. Um, this is Venom. Venom! Uh, no, shut the fuck up. Um, can I show this? Is there tits? No, there's no tits. I'm not exactly sure what's going on in this one. Uh, um, but this is Venom. Venom is the boss uh please all share for awareness the weekly update of convicted sex offenders dodgy d's new gold heist balaclava out now grab one while you can and free bar of gold uh please all share about for awareness sorry it late we'll try to do it weekly so he's like sharing sex offenders in his area. I guess that's I guess that's uh, that's fair. Um, stalking chats over here. So you don't allow wrong guns on your channel, but here is one of them admitting to ringing up a lady, making threats to her. This is a disgrace, and this guy should not be on social media when he is doing this to ladies. Um, they call us the grooming channels is what's in this thumbnail here. And we tell people what to do. Well, listen to PP here says he would never tell Paul who to talk to and then tells him not to be affiliated. I don't know what's going on, but he's trying to like spread pedophiles or something. Uh, there's a guy, you know, that's a guy. I don't know. This is a whole... This is one of those channels that's got, like, a bunch of drama with other channels. But I gotta click on this one. No, shut up. Is What is this? 
copyright disclaimer, right? Oh boy, can I show? Hang, hang on, hold, hold, hold the phone, hold the phone. I thought this was gonna be him in a fucking balaclava, or something. No, this appears to be some kind of weird meme. He's got like this, this person in a balaclava or something, and um, he's like photoshopped into the thing. I don't know what fucking purpose this serves, but, uh, you know, God bless him, I guess. Uh, shorts? You got anything on shorts? I've got a bunch of shit on shorts. Humble dryer? He's got a bunch of little people. I don't know what this is about. He's got, like, he's just got a bunch of, like, little people living in his shorts. He seems to be a channel that's a... Anti-pedophile, but pro-little person. Uh, with, like, whatever's going on here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Again, I don't know. This is, like, I looked at this, I looked up the trolls, and I'm like, what's this channel? I don't fucking know. This is confusing. And now I'm looking at it, and I don't know what to click on. It's all very confusing. I don't know what the fuck the point of any of this is. Oh, boy. Oh, the, okay, the community page. If playing a voice note is being a grass and you're not allowed on Exposure TV if you play voice notes, those were his own words a while ago. Then is playing a private backstage conversation the same as Julian has done just now so that he will be banned from Exposure TV? Oh, that really, yeah. Uh, that, sure. All Go and like and subscribe to Cesspit for the big night. It's one night only with Queen Gambino, the mystic Meg. And there she is, I guess. That's Meg. Uh, what the fuck is happening, chat? Who are these people? Who who are these fucking new, new characters? A Banta channel. What the fuck is this? Famous guest. Holy shit. What? Okay. So this is the cesspit, everybody. And this is on videos here. We've got, like, cesspit, hammer drop, cesspit, fucking Romanian men force women to beg in Ireland and get owned. Oh, is that? Wait, is that Andrew Tate? That might be Andrew Tate. I won't stand for the lies and slander. He won't. He, he just won't anymore. Um... I don't know. I don't know what the fuck we're getting into. What is this? A police station about when my daughter got docked on Friday, as you all know. I'm back oh, there no. on Friday, do you know what I mean? So I will be addressing these videos. I also picked out videos, what I am going to show to the police, where I have told Tracy on numerous occasions throughout live stream not to donate to the channel. Please do not donate to the channel. Please do not do donate to the channel. Uh -huh. uh, that lasted all of two days. Now, when I'm on a note, when I'm on a live feed... Okay, so you're... Yeah, I mean, this is... I wish... I wish I had the mental fortitude for these fucking people. These... These channels where it's, like, weird little in-jokes about people that only they know that are like, Oh, yeah, this fucking guy. I hate this guy. And this dude, that time he got arrested for that thing. And it's like... Nobody else knows or cares what the fuck is going on outside of the people, the very specific people that watch this channel and know what a title like. So it's okay to talk about Crossy's sister like this, is it, you bunch of wrong'uns? And that's just, you know, you're, you're sub to this channel, right? And like, you know what that means. You're like a fan of this channel and the people that are also, that are surrounding this channel. And you're sub to the whole thing. And this is your real life soap opera. You know, like, I don't know what, I don't know what a title, like, uh, PP trying to control Ash. How sad are these people trying to manipulate ones with mental health? I don't know what that means. I have no fucking idea what that means. But, you know, some people out there do, whoever the 673 people that are subbed to Venom over here probably knows what, know what that means. And they know the fucking story. And they've got all the details. And I'm so jealous of that. Because there's a lot of little clicks of weirdos online that are like that. Where it's just in-jokes and arguments between various people on YouTube that you've never heard of. That have five subs. And they're just like, 
grown adults doing like high school shit and uh you know yeah that would be hilarious to know more about one of those to just have an encyclopedic knowledge of 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 that just one of those i don't know uh we'll move along here we'll do another thing uh probably split this into like a couple streams because i got wow i didn't realize i had so much more um oh yeah i found some extra people this morning that's right uh that's true i did look up scum troll this morning well let's take a look at chemtrail 1776 over here and um this is uh so this is a video called you trolls done fucked up and uh i watched this last night this video is fucking frightening Hi, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Steven Johnson versus Chemtrails. I'm actually coming to you from, it's a long story short, my flagship is, um... So, you know, he's talking, he's talking, whatever, but why do we have, you know, just like... So we got basic electricity, some kind of a guide on that got the complete guide to wiring over here we got a bunch of colored pencils there's markers there's pens there's sharpies all sorts of stuff and he is constructing some sort of building he is drawing the blueprints for some kind of archways or something and he's got mathematical equations over on these these ones uh over here he's building magna santi for his sim city is going to build the perfect sim city and he's got it all down to, this is the 13 Floors Hotel, is what he's working on. You'll also notice over here, uh, perhaps you can't see it, actually, because there is a, a fair use bear in the way. Um, you will see that there is, in fact, uh, a CD of Garage Inc., the Metallica cover album, uh, in which Metallica covers, you know, uh, various, various artists. Uh, that's there. There's also a special edition of Pulp Fiction. Um, so, uh, there's a lot going on in this image. Uh, in this, this, the scene well, that's happening right now, and we're trying to piece together what the fuck it, it, it all means. It's a long story short. It's a long flagship story. is, um, youtube.com forward slash C forward slash C. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh my god. YouTube.com forward slash C. Just a fucking, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna totally shut off, shut up, bully music. We're gonna totally fucking, we're gonna totally just type out your whole channel URL. Bro. Forward slash Steven Johnson 1776. That is my flagship YouTube account. Uh, the like. reason I'm creating this is actually for several reasons. One of which I'm still trying to gain. Asbestos and lead awareness training program. My man is on, like, a fucking... I don't know. He's on, like, a peroxide bender or something because he is just going off. He's trying to learn every single Sims skill that you can learn all at once. He's getting mechanical. He's getting cleaning. He's getting cooking. He's learn He's power leveling every step. Access to that one and my... Um, I have another one called uh, the Time Lapse Video Series. Which, which is really cool. Alright. Two reasons for this. One, well, one because of the two accounts that I'm still trying to access to upload new stuff. And I figured maybe it was just, just time to expand out because TikTok's really fucking me up. And, well, actually, okay, three reasons. And because of my two live streams. What is the blue thing? It appears to be some kind of a fucking purge mask covered in, like, barbed wire. That I had. Alright, the first live stream. I believe this is a mask from The Purge. I think that's what this is. That's what somebody told said the other night when we were watching this guy. Uh, I think he's, like, customized it to some extent. But, yeah, I think it's a purge mask, which is... You know, you add that onto the asbestos and the building and the wiring and the Metallica album and the fucking Pulp Fiction DVD, and I don't know, Mr. Anime is planning something. The dream that I had was cut due to TikTok's bullshit. I and due to language. It wasn't to the fact that I was smoking, drinking, doing whatever the fuck I was doing. 
Um, yeah, that's stupid. No, it was due to language uh, language violations. So, I was banned. So my man for... George Costanzo over here, Art Vandalay, my my bad. He trying to like he's got the whole look at this like electric fucking engineering diagram thing with the little squiggly electrical lines or whatever. He's got he's got fucking stuff in brackets. He's got percentages. I mean, shit, this guy was probably some form of engineer or something before he, I don't know, a safe fell on his head or whatever, and now he's like this. For 24 hours, until my next live stream. Wait, wait, wait. Stars. 13 and floors hotel, so we've got bank, I think that's what that says, bank or bunk? I think it's bank. We've got banks, four banks. With the polygon, there's cases. How would I count a genuine 13th floor, 13 floor building? The hotel itself is called 13 floors. See, this is so much effort and work, and he's got all these uh, equations and shit, but he can't spell the word genuine or itself. Like. So, my next live stream. Amazing. So, I waited and waited and waited. And went back on, and once I got back on, it was pretty good. So I had a nice passport one. too. Uh, but the thing about it is, my what is what is what is on this yellowed fucking paper from the the seventies? Thirteen X towels, sixteen percent, sixteen X quilt sets, solid color, eight speakers, nine total shopping carts, eight bamboo memory foam pillows. I mean, we got dark purple over here, or dork purple. White, pink, white. I don't know what the rest of this is. My but it's whatever it is, he's building it in Mexico, and they're going to pay for it. My stream was actually fucking cut because of... Same, dude. Yeah, I lost internet and phone fucking signals. So, yeah, the joke was on me on that Guardia Community College. This is this is the guy who's going to save us. Hey, talking about NPC video over here. One. Anyway, this message is... is Come on now. Hi, right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This oh, is Steve. fuck, I reset it. I was trying to get off of his fucking diploma that he was focusing on for two minutes. Mr. Slick DM Slider into her trolls. What? That have absolutely no idea who the fuck I am. Oh, they don't know who you who they're dealing with. And, until you've had a sip or a taste or a walk of my life, you absolutely fucking know nothing. Okay, how about you take two? I mean, I'm looking at like a collage of your life right now, and I'm asking a lot of questions. Like, what's this painting over here that looks like some sort of Picasso thing? Why do you know about architecture and engineering and all of these things? Why do you got a purge mask? What, were you in the war? Do you have dog tags? Is that actually from the real military? Or are you just like a, you know, you just buy them on from fucking Spencer's gifts? I, I don't know. Call me in the morning. Lots of questions. And tell me how you fucking feel. Uh, for all you little bastards, they were trying to tell me, oh, the reason you couldn't keep this together, the reason you're bouncing all over the place and... Blah, blah, blah. Look, motherfuckers, I have fucking ADD, ADHD, this, that, and the fucking third. I have all of this. This is not counting my associates my for residential, not commercial, counting. electrical yeah. back in 2007. I've worked with, not for, I've worked with Ferrera Fire Apparatuses. I built these beasts from the fucking chassis ground up, from the Allison transmissions all the way to the goddamn pressurized water tanks. And I've been in before and after paint, and I've done fucking accessories. I'm so, so, but what does that have to do with... What's going on, first of all, and what does that have to do with it, you know? like Certify ASE 24 and 12 volts. I've done construction. I, fuck, yeah, I've got damn near... the the operation. Holy crap. Eight years of fucking roofing, specifically... Not including construction Who and asked? other things that I've been doing. It. I mean, millwright, metalworking, welding. I, okay. 
And the reason for this, right? This guy would be an excellent, um, an excellent crew member on your your Rimworld team. Y'all want to attack me for fucking drinking? Hell Y'all no. want to say the reason I couldn't get my shit together because I had too much out? Al- you know what, motherfuckers? If I can't have the alcohol is what contains your power level. I understand, dude. I'm the same way. A nice fucking ice cut. Look, I'm from Louisiana. All right, if you will. A fucking redneck Cajun. I love barbecues and beers. Fuck out of here. And 85% Irish, rest is German and... And you... Oh, man. Man. I don't know what point he's getting at, but he sure convinced me about it, whatever it is. Um, So, yeah, he's planning something. He's up to something. Here he is, I guess, on, on video. Breaking news. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Friendly. Friends. Family, patriots, fighters, rogues of TikTok and YouTube. Um, this is, of course, going to be more many videos of, of this channel. But this one, it, this one's going to be a little bit more put together than, than the first couple ones that I have. Because I, it, it's, it's been pointed out that I'm all over the place, AD did. But, uh, you know, I, I've got a lot of shit going on right now. That's fair. And when I start talking about topics... And I start linking one to the other, and I start chasing that one down the hole. And by the time I get down three, four, five, six flights down that one, I, I lost focus of the original topic. And yeah, it, I know how it is, man. You gotta, you gotta structure these things. You know, you nest them, right? You have like one topic, and then you figure out a way that all of the other topics follow in a nested sequence from that one topic. You know, that's kind of what you could, you could try doing that. It tries to up the wall. So basically what I've done is I've actually sat here and I've outlined uh, some things to help my... Yeah, I noticed he does have double glasses on currently. What's the functional purpose? I guess the sunglasses up here, they're for his third eye. To help keep the stability and maintain topic. I have a couple things I want to uh, actually cover in this video. One... Man, this guy's smoking (laughs) on on camera. As you've seen on my TikTok, I'm starting to go out there and I'm starting to do audits on these uh, COVID test 19 sakes. sites oh, God. to show them a particular video Every time. Uh, that's been circling around. I didn't and think this was going to be this again. God damn it. I, I just had enough of it, uh, of the bullshit, and I just figured I would step out and, you know, put my neck out online line and actually the do fucking something lies, about it. Man. And the first video that I put up on my TikTok, I had visited one site. I, I mean, it was just completely random, just out of the blue, just... I, I, I didn't have, normally I carry three phones with me, you know, my media phone, one for recording, it, you media know, another phone. body, you know, body camera for like, you know, accountability videos. But huh. I wasn't even prepared that day. I had no scripts. I had nothing. I had no pre-planned questions. It's like, it's like you're just, you're going out in your day-to-day life and you're like, I have to make sure that I, a civilian, I'm strapped with a fucking body camera at all times. Like, I don't know. You might be slightly paranoid. You know, they're not all out to get you. I mean, I get it. You want to, if something happens, you're going to be happy that you got the body camera. But I'm just saying, that seems like quite, I'm just saying that, that speaks volumes about the way that you just live your life in general, I guess. I mean, that's like. That's like some fucking milk before the cereal type of shit. It's like, it calls into question your whole way of thinking. I literally jumped with both feet in to the first audit on that one. Oh, you don't like the and teeth when I pause? Sorry about I was that. so excited and so stoked about it that it didn't hit me until after the fact that, fuck, I said that I did this. I have no video proof of it. <laughs> That's okay though. Because that same day that that video went up, I made a promise to everybody for that long, away, heavily awaited video audit. Next day? Well, actually, no, it wasn't the next day. It was, it was actually two. Where is it? Where is it? I want to see the audit. Result of chem fallout. Ticked. Okay, well, I don't know where the audit is, but here's, it looks like more of his weird pile of crazy shit. Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Steven Johnson versus Chemtrails. This is another fucking page of notes red white and blue blah 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 a bear no nori is this code what the fuck is this coming to you back from my flagship coming over here to 
Chemtrail 1776 3.0. Oh, these are ats. These are fucking oh, these are fucking TikTok usernames. Right. So this is another thing we're gonna get into. Um, he has a. He, I guess he's got a, got a TikTok, and while he's on his TikTok, he uh, sorts through all of the troll accounts, uh, which. God knows. I know one metric by which he determines that they're trolls appears to be, appears to be, we might be wrong about this, uh, appears to be if they're Asian women, they're trolls. Um, so these are, I guess, all ats for TikTok people who are, like, trolling him, or he thinks they're trolling him. Savage Core over here, he's watching you, dot, 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 Lamau. Uh, and I mean, you know... Now I've already described in my first video why. Connected for some uh, reason. the reason for this video, yo, TikTok's got some fuckery with them. These motherfuckers are some fuckboys. Okay, I've attempted to post a video twice today about an update coming from my FEMA region two, FEMA zone region. five, the Bronx, uh -huh. about a positive update on yesterday, about how everything was actually calm and quell yesterday. <clears throat> we had a heavy over here like are you living in the fucking like hurricane katrina zone what oh you're in new york my fema zone like uh, like when when the whole when you've managed to construct your reality such that the entire world is a bomb shelter i don't know dude police presence out here in the bronx all the women that were out and about I hope they were armed and protected the way they were supposed to, and the ones that were inside, look, kudos to the whole fucking way around. It was actually, it was actually very quiet yesterday. Uh-huh. And I tried posting a video twice today. First video is, it, it, it's still fucking under review. I, I posted it fucking early this morning. And that motherfucker's still under goddamn fucking review. I re Man, I wish I was the TikTok reviewal committee that had to like, all right, we got another one from Freedom Chemtrails or whatever the fuck. And you just have to go through the whole thing. That'd be great. Posted That'd it again with a message. It, it, it's plaster. It was in yellow. It said a message of peace in a time of war. And took, oh boy, TikTok oh. took it down for violent acts because I showed this um, but yet motherfucker well speaking of tiktok i mean this was a year ago this was before they were being uh fucking targeted by the u.s government or whatever you know what really sucks is like fuck tiktok hardcore but but whatever the u.s government thinks they're doing to try to get like gotcha tiktok yeah i don't know i don't know if anybody's keeping up with that but they've they're trying they're the, They've got people out there, like, grilling the CEO or whatever of TikTok, and they're just like, So if you're on TikTok, is it able to connect to your home internet? And he's like, yeah, if you have it connected on your home router. like Yeah, so you can connect to my home internet! So China is connected to- And it's just this most- the most ridiculous shit, and it's like, well- now TikTok are the good. Now, they're, now the TikTok's the good guys. Good job. Good good job, U.S. government. You fucked it up again. You had one fucking job. You finally ah, they're gonna ban TikTok. Great. Ah, I'm so happy for this. And then I watch it, and it's like, oh well, never mind. This is the stupidest shit I've ever seen. Somehow TikTok are the good guys. That's great. Yet, yeah. motherfuckers walking around on goddamn TikTok with knives, blades, swords. The whole fucking nine yards. But yet, I can't show what I was arming myself with yesterday. Yeah, I mean, they were beating down your door at the time. No, no. No, no I, I, I'm not the one. On any given day, I'm not the one to fuck with. <laughs> no, you do have the purge mask, so I believe you. So here's a pretty interesting video. Where is it, actually? Um, I think it's this one. Part two of Trolls, 160 found. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, patriots, rebels, and special rogues of TikTok and YouTube. Now, this is a video in which I believe what set this off is 
like one person tried to send him a friend request or something and so he started looking through that person's um like uh followers and i and i guess he's determined that that person and all of these people are all trolls uh, or mo the majority of these people. I don't know what his metric is. I think it's... This is going to be a second video on identifying trolls. This might not be actually... I think it's this one, then. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, patriots, rebel... Yeah, this is what he does. He's on... This is a different channel here. El, El Tuki. The other one was, like, some other thing. And, uh, he just goes through, oh, this person friended me. I have to fucking check all of their followers to make sure that they're not trolls. And special rogues of TikTok and YouTube. We got another one. Uh, it is now 8.51, August 6th, Friday, 2021. And this account right here, we have 108 followers. And I I'm just, I'm just gonna make this shit quick, Okay. I'm gonna show you. Uh, we, 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 oh man, Th this oh, one is man. literally riddled with um, trolls. Okay. Well, one. now he's saying trolls. I mean, a lot of these are just uh, probably bots. I mean, I don't know why he thinks they're trolls. But... One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. This is what he's doing now. He's scrolling through all of this. Eight. Nine, ten. Like, why did you decide that this... So, like, okay, the ones who have no profile picture, they're trolls. All right, fine. Riley Furs here is a troll, because no profile pic, sure. Why is this one a troll? This is just some person with baby pictures. Eleven. Twelve. Okay, again, this is just some guy's kid, and then you're lumping that in with user number whatever here? Like, that guy might be a troll, sure. It's not. It, it's most likely a bot, not a troll, but it's like, uh, sure, but maybe that guy is what you're talking about. But I don't know why you're lumping in Ramon over here. Thirteen. And Louise. Fourteen, fifteen. Is it because they're women and, like, minority-sounding names? <laughs> Like, oh, this guy's Mexican. That must mean he's a... Tr is that what... Is that what it is? 16, 17, yeah, another woman. 18. I mean, these are all probably fake bots. 19, 20, 21, you know, He's and right 22. about that, probably. Yeah. Yeah. 22, 23. But, like, this is what you do with your time, right? You just go through this and you're like, oh, oh, the fucking fake bots. Yeah, this is the one that we were watching the other night. Identification of trolls on TikTok. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, yeah, big yeah, yeah. This are uh, following followers, and we won't go into suggestion. So I basically scrolled down through all 1,190 or 1,119 followers. I'm at the bottom, so I'm basically starting from the bottom up. Jesus so, fucking Christ! Let's jump into this. All right, I'm going to show you. This is this is what this guy does. This is like his idea of like, yep, this is my Sunday night. I'm going to scroll through this person's friends list and identify whether or not they're out to get me. Like, that is... Man, just watch a fucking movie or something. I don't know, dude. Because th 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 this was a nice... Th this was what oh. something a nice lady on TikTok showed me. She, she actually confirmed. It was basically... Can I get a witness? What? She was my witness to my gut feeling, my gut instinct. And it's something that I've been saying. You know, if you've got no face, no content, no published materials, you've got an astronomical weird fucking numbers of, of, of friends and followers and no likes and no ca private accounts, we're going to go into this. All right. So we're going to start. Okay. I'm going to show you how to find so these assholes. did he go through all of these accounts then and specifically? Like, was this just his full day of going through all 1,119 of these people and just, like, check each account and be like, all right, you have no light. You, oh, you're, yep, yeah, yeah, you're promoting Bitcoin. Oh, yep, yeah, you're, like, like, 
going through everybody is this not just a visual thing going through the like the icons and making a judgment it might be even fucking weirder than that it might be he specifically stalked all of these people and determined that oh this one has to be a bot because she's got too many followers and not enough like Ugh. all right okay there's me right there Nah. Uh -huh. There's you. Now. With the anonymous logo. This is how. Okay, here we go. I'm going to set it to here so that I won't lose my place. I right, come back. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Followers. But, but followers means people who are following this account. So you're, you're looking at someone's account who you are following. And you're like, oh, look at all these other people who are following this person. That means they're a troll? Why are you following them to begin with? Your name is on here. You're on the followers list. That means you are following them. So so what is this? Is this just someone you're stalking on TikTok? What's going on? Come back. Why are you Come on back. this list? Come back. Come back. Come back. Okay, here we go. First one on the list. Right here. Okay. No, Yuri you Pupunga, Crystal Witch. Follow back, please. Secret Gay. Username, no face, no nothing. Then I check I mean, but followers. they have a username. There's, there's a troll. Oh. That's a troll. How, which one? That's a troll. Oh, which ones? Okay. Those two are true. Now watch this. Oh. I'll click on this and watch. Watch what happens. Mr. Watts? Oh, no. It actually didn't fucking... No, never mind. I couldn't. All right, cool. Let me actually back out. All right, wait, this... wait. Why, why is this guy... Oh, yeah, because that's probably This one's probably blocked. That one says fan. follow no, back. I'm surprised. All right, see... This one is following him already. Usernames like this, these are usually trolls. Okay. This person, whoever this is, is following this guy already. What is going on? This is just a... I mean, I'm pretty sure this is just a bot, but why? He's he's decided that they're trolls. Fine, whatever. But it's a weird coincidence that this bot, I guess, is following him and this other random person that he encountered. So this is going to be blocked. Firm. Oh my god, the idea of going out of your way like six layers separated of like, alright, you're a follower of this other person who I follow, and therefore I have to block you. Holy shit, dude. Wow. Wow. Why even use TikTok at that point? Like, if you're so sensitive to the trolls or whatever, oh, you gotta block these people who don't even know you, probably. Fucking hell, dude. Blocked. And you... Block. Block. See, these are trolls that I don't want coming over to my page. And this is under the... Uh, um, see, another one here. So it's the ones with no avatar. I'm actually right. surprised. I'm being made a liar of right now. Okay, we'll, we'll get to the we'll get to the to the juicy shit. Oh, All right. Those juicy shit. Known trolls. These known are known trolls. Trolls. They are no. So this one, another one, another one. Y'all need to see. This is a fucking troll. Okay. <laughs> can These we? Are can the we fucking point troll. Out, just. Okay. Send to, uh, Patriot Mama. Illuminati Brotherhood 666. <laughs> what about this one here, user 57 whatever? That's got, that's somebody who you know who is in your contacts list with the same user and the number thing, which you're saying now makes people trolls. Who is this guy? Who's this guy's kids? Who the fuck is this person? Do you know them in real life? So that means they're a troll, right? I'm so confused by this. You'd think you'd have some These kind of understanding. Trolls. Okay. Now. We have another one. Wait, what happened here? Oh, for, oh, it's only 40. Dumbass. I gotta get back up. Get back over here. 
Jeez, I went far too far down the rabbit hole on that one. Oh, you sure did. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah, you started... F oh, I just realized, yeah. This was him finding a random person on a follower's page of another account he follows and then stalking that random other follower and finding one of their random followers and blocking them because they're, met they're out to troll him. That is some next-level thinking, dude. Holy fuck. Wow. Yeah, no, you really got them. You thwarted the plans. They can't stop you now. They can't stop your fucking purge robot bomb building or whatever it is you're fucking making. Okay, this whatever Mr. Anime right is now. planning. No, you're blocked. I don't give a fuck. You're blocked. You ain't got no face on your fucking account. Alright, that's another one. Let's see here. Let's see here. I don't give a lot fuck if I'm putting anybody on blast. I'm not putting a user on blast, but, you know. Anyway, no, go away. I like that. I'm using electrical tape on this, and it actually still works on a touchscreen. That's amazing. What? All right. Got tape on his phone? Here we go. Is that what he, what? Here we go. Never mind. What are you? No, I'm not going to fool with you. Oh, Fine. Jesus Christ. This is really um, what he's doing. I just can't get my mind around this. Like, this is, I mean, this is a little terrifying, isn't it? You just, like, one of the last streams I did, we found that channel who, like, made a whole bunch of weird fanfic and fucking strange images and shit based on, like, a channel with, like, 200 subscribers or something. I don't remember exactly what that was. It was a little while ago, but we it was a recent stream I did where it was like, yeah... Even this channel that's got 200 subs is not immune to crazy people doing this shit. And now these random TikTok users are being, like, stalked and hunted through. They're... I, man, social media fucking sucks, dude. Tear it all down. Wait a second. The only reason it's taking me so long because I'm actually recording. Normally it would take me a lot quicker than this. Let's see. Ah! Oh. Right there! Oh. That's a lot of shit. That I'm encountering. He's blocking the banned account. <laughs> That's the big gotcha. That was the juicy shit. The aforementioned juicy shit was that some of these accounts are banned. And that proves that they're trolls, I guess. I It's just, again, the self-centeredness of, like, now, me with my 50 subs or however many I have. Yep, this... This, this is the wide-scale operation that's happening. Like, if this was Kanye West making this insane, unhinged video, I would think, all right, yeah, maybe the friend of the friend of the friend might know you and might be out to get you, but I don't know. For Freedom Chemtrails Steven Johnson or whatever, I, I, I don't, I'm not sure. On a lot of these accounts. See, you people don't know how to vet your shit. I did, that's what pisses me off, man. You, you just basically, I don't, I mean, you're just letting anyone in. Kind of sounds like Biden letting one, anyone in on the fucking border, <laughs> uh, which, which is absolutely pathetic. And you saw it, it he's banned oh for multiple God. guideline violations. I usually get a lot of that shit. Here we go with another one. Once again, he is, like, like, people in chat are picking up on it. Yes, this is not even what he thinks it is. This is... Or maybe it is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what point he thinks he's making because he is, again, on the followers list. This isn't people that this person... So what what this is, if I remember correctly, this is someone who sent him, like, a friend request and he is now stalking through their followers list. Not their following list. Not the people they are following. But whatever other random people are following them, which includes bots... And random fucking, like, gimmick accounts and all this sorts of shit. And it's like, I don't even know if the point you're making is the point you think you're making right now. Like, I usually get a lot of that shit. And if it is, that's even worse. One. No. Screw you. You're yeah, blocked. You're Not blocked. even worried about it. Not even wasting my time. Okay, this is basically... Let's see, what are you? You another one? Huh, huh. Another one? No, we're not gonna. Work. I'm not gonna waste my time. No, you're not a troll. Uh, that one you're wasn't not one a of troll. the known trolls. Known trolls on a TikTok platform. 
All right, so basically. Does he? I guess he is just conflating the term troll with like bot. Is that what he's talking about? Known trolls? Is he just meaning like, yeah, you know, there's a known issue with bots on TikTok. Does that what he mean by known trolls? The the known issue with bots. Is that maybe that's it? That has to be it, right? See, I have to go through. The fact every time that... I get a friend request. I gotta go through your fucking followers. Oh, do you? I have to block and delete these idiots so they don't fucking come over and crawl over into my fucking- Okay, so no, I guess it's the followers because that way they're the ones who are gonna see his content if they, like, retweet it or whatever the fuck, re-tiktok it. Uh, they're, they're gonna see that, I guess, and he's trying to weed out the, the scum, I, I guess. This is just so, so- like, the fact that I'm over here and you're watching me watch this guy do this is just a fuck. like, I, I mean, just let them invade us already. It's all over. Place. This is our, this is our oh, entertainment. It's, it's not too bad. I mean, this, this one's not as bad as some of the ones that, that, that I've actually gone through. It's bad. One. As some of the That's one, I think this one, I think this one is a troll. Donna da man, da da da. That that I've actually gone through. Yeah, it's it's very interesting. This is just some random person has a a thousand like black people following them, <laughs> and occasionally there's some bots, and he's having to go through this like, yep, you're a known troll. Yeah, you're a troll. I don't know, man. That's pretty. That's pretty special. Is there anything else on this guy's channel that might be similarly exciting? Uh, well, we do have this. There's a very good video here called "I Have No Fucking Idea What's Going On." I don't even really want to click on this video. I think it's fine. I think I want to just leave that with that. You know, he has no fucking idea what's going on. Hell yeah, dude. Me neither. Um, I think that will do it probably for the stream. Uh, we've been going. A little while and I had to break things up with my internet being fucked or whatever. Uh, I'm going to try to stream again maybe tomorrow. We'll do some wheel or something. Uh, still trying to adjust to like a new streaming schedule with t with time and everything. Because now it's 6.51 Eastern time. And normally at this time, at 6.51, what I'm used to is 3 o'clock Eastern time. And so I would be like... I don't know. It's a whole thing. Actually, I might have the times backwards. I don't know. Anyways, uh, <laughs> get some music set up here. What do we got? Uh, sure. Throw some of this on. <laughs> get some of the, the 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 super cool Yakuza 2 music happening now. Where the fuck? I have to like specifically go in and find the uh, super chats this time because I had to like end the stream or whatever. Or the stream ended itself rather. I had to like restart my computer. Um, let's see. So, um, five bucks from Sunk the Day. You're my favorite streamer, Claw. Thank you for bringing spontaneous laughs during my workday. Pax Christie. Uh, pa Pax Christie. I don't know what that means, but, you know, pra praise be, I guess. Uh, five bucks from Randy Butternubs. Congrats on the move, Padre Claw. Stoked I actually got here on time for the live stream. Well, you're here now. And, uh, you know, you were there just in time for it going under briefly, too. So you were there for the excitement. Uh, five bucks from Sloth Thing. The Danny Brown Cyrax saga was a real trip. True gold in history. What is this song? What the fuck is this? Is this from the soundtrack from Yakuza 2? Okay, uh, all right, sure, sure, fine, whatever. Uh, a wonderful man for sure to be climbing on the goblin. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not interested in what he has to say about Cyrax outside of fuck Cyrax, we like King Cobra better. 
But I want to see him talk more about Cobra. I would watch that. I gotta watch some of that podcast. Um, two bucks from Victor Martinez. I am not a computer! Uh, two bucks from Victor Martinez. The bar must be set in hell to be a rapper today. Well, again, we've seen a bunch of uh, rappers, you know, on this channel. Weird rappers who, you know, have incomprehensible T-Dub-esque lyrics and bad flows and bad mixing and bad instrumentals and bad mic and all of that sort of stuff. And, and this guy was kind of a little bit of all of that, but, you know, he really had his own personality. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of... My brain is not a computer core, honestly. Two bucks from Zenertia. Our boy may have a dead wing, but his lines are fire. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Ten bucks from Richie086. Thank you so much for the stream, Claw. You got me rolling on the floor, literally. Really? Literally? You're doing that? Literally? I don't believe you. I don't think anybody's ever rolled on the floor laughing outside of, like, a fucking Bugs Bunny cartoon. I would like this guy to do a comp with Justin RPG. And they can cover, I hate this Windows Vista tonight. <laughs> you know, I, we do need to, like, fund... That's the... That's the that's the, the crossover we need to see. We're getting Danny Brown and JPEG Mafia. We're getting Smash Brothers and Endgame and all of these crossovers. What we need is Neil Breen and Tommy Wiseau. What we need is King Cobra and, like, Cooking with Jack or something. We need... We need bad shit to cross over, because that's really exciting. That's never happened. We've never had a crossover of, like, Miami Connection and fucking Hollywood Cop. Well, that would be incredible. Um, let's see. Uh, $25 from Togebora. Hi, Claw. Thanks for keeping up the great content. If you ever look at DA again, you should check out Austinator 0630-2012. I found, about, found out about him after he left a comment on one of my pieces, and he's certainly interesting. Well, you know, I will, uh... I will copy that. I won't even look at what the fuck this is. I'm just gonna copy it. Uh, he is a... a well, I did look. He's a large black man with a headset. That's all I saw. I'll look more into it at another date. Thank you for the suggestion. Uh, maybe it'll be good. Maybe it's bad. Maybe maybe that was a terrible suggestion. I don't know. But we'll find out. Five bucks from Digital... Uh, thank you very much, by the way. Five bucks from Digital Apex. Hey, Claw, I'm drunk and financially irresponsible. Keep doing what you do. Keep it up, you handsome, crazy, crippled Canadian man, you. Aw, oh, well, shucks. Thank you. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, let me see here. Um, uh, let me see. Five bucks from Fat Mork. Can we please listen to... Oh, yeah. Uh, Merry Go Round by Wild Man Fisher. Well, you know, we'll listen to a little bit of it. What's going on here? What is this? Merry Go Round Wild Man Fisher. What is this? And That's pretty good stuff. I like it. Um, let's see here. Uh, five bucks from Zenertia. By the way, finally got a new job, so now I can pay you back for keeping me smiling through my anxiety. Love you, Mr. Bear. Well, thank you. Uh, congrats on the job. You know, don't feel obligated to pay me, but, uh, you know, uh, put yourself first and foremost, and, and, and uh, I appreciate it all the same. Thank you. Uh, five bucks from Scrungle Bungle. Some doubloons to tape your Ethernet cable together. I mean, it's a ghetto situation that I've got going. It's like a 50-foot Ethernet cable uh, stretching from my living room up to the top floor. And uh, it's just kind of a little bit awkwardly in the way. I don't know what... I mean, this happened to me once or twice when I was um, back west, though. Where I'd be streaming and just my computer sometimes... Because, like, my Wi-Fi was working fine. That was the weird thing. It was it was literally, it just seemed to be the Ethernet cable was fucked. Or the Ethernet port on my computer, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I guess it sucks when the Ethernet port on your motherboard is just dead. Or something. I don't know. I, I should probably look into that. But, you know, for now it works. Uh, <laughs> if I need to, I'll get a wireless dongle. I don't know. 
Uh, f five bucks from Alric 117 Dude, Daniel Larson looks like Tangle from Legend of Zelda. You know, I think I could see it. I could see it. Um, you got him a you got him a little skin tight suit or whatever. Make him say Kulu Limpa. I, I could see it. Ten bucks from Vomit Omelet. Daniel Larson for president. I mean, I think he already is. Uh, much better than Biden letting anyone in on the border. <laughs> Fucking known trolls. Um, sorry, we're not getting political. That was a quote from another guy. Uh, two bucks. <laughs> two bucks from, uh, Rocky Rhodes. Daniel Larson got a nose like Freddy Krueger. You know, that or maybe like some kind of a hatchet or something. I don't know. Five bucks from Andy. Daniel Larson thinks he's in a relationship with a teenager and trolls have convinced him he's the president of the U.S. Yeah, that's what I, yeah. Very interesting. Too curious, stranger. Uh... I, I, I mean, again, it's like, I don't know. I, you know, there's something to be said sometimes for the trolls. This is, this is a stream that owes to people being trolled, apparently. And, uh, there's something to be said for, like, you know, uh, sometimes it, it produces Chris Chan-esque content. Sometimes it makes people shut down or just makes them feel really bad. And, you know, trolling is, a, is, is mean sometimes, but... I don't know, occasionally you wind up with, uh, you, you wind up with Daniel Larson thinking he's the president, and Gail thinking there's a, a pukaki happening in Mexico, and, like, all of this shit, and it's like, you know, I don't know, maybe trolling is fun sometimes, you know, as long as they've got mental illness. No, I'm just kidding, don't, don't quote me on that. Two bucks from Irma Greece. Some beans for a great stream uh thank you uh two pounds from underscore they made father elijah from fallout a real thing yeah or the guy from ravenholm uh maybe a little bit of him 648 from exile postman he seems like the kind of guy who can turn any co conversion into an unhinged psychotic rant conversion everybody make fun of this guy's spelling error that's cringe that's the real cringe of this stream um, yeah, no, I mean, if, you're right, he does seem like the type of guy, you, you talk to him about Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance, and he just starts going off about, you know, the Zionists or something, I mean, there's just no, there's no winning. Uh, yeah, I'm saying, like, geez, this seems like, you know, the, the hobby that he has of stalking through people's TikToks, I'm like, you know, you could just watch a movie or something, but I really don't think you can at a certain point, it's like, yeah. You're going to be seeing messages to you in the movie. You're at a certain point you get you get mental illness to a, such an extent that you basically just can't relax anymore, which is a real shame. Um 592 from Exile Postman. He's acting like he discovered a grand conspiracy because he realized bots exist. What a nut bar. <laughs> you know, I remember there's this uh there's this like granola bar thing. It's called I think it's called Nutra Bar. As a kid, I always thought it was just called Nut Bar. I was like, I want to get a Nut Bar. <laughs> I don't know. I like that term. Uh, 278 from Victor Martinez. Those darn dirty trolls. Yeah, you tell them. Fucking going off about their boats and shit. I bet Lars didn't even have boats. 311 from Exile Postman. When gang stalking weirdos don't leave the house. Yeah, I mean, you know, you they they're gang stalking him cyber digitally i guess yeah i mean he thinks he's some kind of celebrity with his uh tiktok fame with his like you know 50 followers or whatever he's got and uh i mean you know people might people might certainly know of you but i doubt that you're i doubt that you're getting people coming out of their way to fucking mess with your life or anything uh unless they know you in person um 220 from dwarf rabbit thank you claw daddy i don't know what i just saw yeah nobody does you know i i'm i'm not totally i'm not totally aware either i'm sure sometime later i'll wake up in a cold sweat realizing what hell hath wrought and you know and then i'll go back to sleep and i'll probably sleep fine probably forget all about it 20 dollars for milk steak no message but thank you very much don't tell me you don't know about milk steak uh 2589 from exiled postman what's the difference between iron man and aluminum man one of them stops the bad guys and the other one just foils their plans you've been a wonderful audience good night everyone <laughs> anywhere you look any -na -na -na. yeah thank you <laughs> thank you everybody for stopping by uh be sure to tip your waitresses 
uh, tip them over. Make sure they understand that they've served you the wrong mac and cheese and they need to make it again. Um, yeah, thank you everybody for uh, for your attendance. I'll try to be back uh, before, uh, what was the last stream? Two weeks ago, I think it says on here. I'll try to be back uh, in, in less time than that. Take it easy, folks. Uh, probably just stream again tomorrow or something. I don't know, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, penis. <laughs>